Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest says God has assigned a good purpose for everyone, uh, that includes you, but few believers ever enter their purpose. For certain, want to learn how you can enter your God-given purpose? I protest. Yeah. I'm sorry I protest. I happen to be Jewish. I know the Bible says that the Gentile believer is to provoke the Jewish believer to jealousy, but this is outrageous. You don't have to go so far, Guillermo. I mean, he just, I called him. He said, I said, Guillermo, anything new? He says, yeah, I had a visitation from the Lord. He gave me a new mantle. I'm moving in greater. What's the matter with me? Lord, I would like that new mantle. <laughs> uh, Guillermo, tell us what happened. Every time God gives you a mantle, it's for an assignment. In other words, if you have any assignment that you need to do, God will give you a mantle. And I think the time we're living in, it requires to have a new mantle. You will not be able to overcome darkness the way it is now without a new mantle. Now, this is wonderful, but there's something that I read about in the newspaper. It's not so wonderful. There is an epidemic of young people committing suicide. And I might add, it's not just young people. I'm, I mean, I, it, it, it's, it's over the top. Why is this going on? The reason is lack of purpose. Purpose is the original intention why God created you. And in other words, if you don't know your purpose, Sid, because these people, this generation don't know their purpose, they uh, lack of, they see that the death is more attractive to them. Number two, you see that they said, I feel lonely. Loneliness is not lack of company, it's lack of purpose. And then you see, for example, people without, people without direction. If you don't have direction, it's because you don't have purpose. Purpose is the beginning. Purpose is the beginning of your destiny. You don't know where you're going if you don't know your purpose. God wants to speak to those people that are watching. What is the original intention? God God created. God created everyone for a purpose. And there's so many people asking themselves four questions. Who am I? That's talk about identity. That's why you see identity crisis. Who am I? Where am I from? That talks about origin. We came from God. We didn't come from the monkey. We came from God. We didn't come from the big explosion. We came from God. Hello. Yo, we, and, and because number one, who am I? Number two, where am I from? Number three, why is the reason of my existence? Why am I here? That talks about purpose. And lastly, the fourth question is, what is my destiny? What, what am I going now? What are you going with your life? It doesn't matter your age. Abraham was 75, 80, 100 when he started fulfilling his purpose. So it doesn't matter how Moses old you are. Moses was 80. Moses was 80. So that tells you, age had nothing to do with your purpose. There's still time. You, God, purpose cannot be denied to you. Purpose is, is for you, and God created you with a purpose. Now, you know what many people that are watching us right now don't? They think they're rebuking the devil for all the stuff in their life, and they don't know that there is a refining process. This is a mystery to most of you. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Everybody, we were created, we were, we were a spirit being before we became human being. We were created in the spirit before the foundation of the world. God finished us there. But now we came to earth, and everything God sends to earth, we must, it must go by through a process. P what is process? Those that are watching at home, process is nothing more than steps and actions and decisions toward compliance with destiny. In other words, you're going to comply with destiny. If you don't submit to your process, you will never comply to, to destiny. This generation wants things now.
instant gratification. Sacrifice is a bad word for them because they never go through a process. They want to be millionaires without work. They want to very... That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know about so, that too. <laughs> so I, I will believe that you must go through a process. There's a lot of people watching, asking questions. Said, for example, oh, I, I, I don't understand why I'm still alive because there's a purpose. There's a great purpose. And as your purpose is as your process, the level of your process is the level of your purpose. In other words, if you have a tough process that is so big, your purpose is so big, and God is about to you know what? into another dimension. And you have got the devil running a million different directions. So if you're under uh, a refining process, you could be rejoicing right now because yes. God knows yes. that he can trust you. And once you come out of this, you will be so used by God. When we return, let's talk about being used by God. I want to know about the nurse that operates in miracles when the doctors gave up. Hello, YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. in the hospital, and I've had good nurses and bad <laughs> nurses, but I never had a nurse like the one that went to your teaching seminar. Tell me what happened to her. You know, Sid, by the grace of God, I activated, uh, I would say, millions and millions of people in the supernatural, and this is one of the nurses that, that captured that supernatural as a lifestyle. So she uh, had an issue with her son. She, uh, her son had meningitis, and uh, the doctor said there's no solution, there's no cure. So she rejected, she said, I won't accept that, pray for him, got healed, got delivered. And then she said, now I know my purpose in life to be a nurse and minister to those cases where they come to the hospital, there's, the doctors say there's no solution, so let's send them to the, to the nurse. The miracle nurse, they call it the miracle nurse. So those six people come into her, pray for even people that are dead, uh, and, and pray for them. They got up from the dead. I, I mean, that's what she's doing in the hospital now. When the, when the doctors in science can't do anything, she pray for them and people get healed. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? You, you say that God will anoint you for your purpose, not just what you want to do. That nurse was anointed for her purpose. Explain it. Okay, uh, we all are anointing according to purpose. In other words, the anointing God giving is because there is an assignment. What Purpose. does anointing mean? Anointing means divine ability, divine power to do the impossible. In other words, Jesus said, I'm going to give you power to do the impossible. In other words, but this is not just a, a, a big bishops or apostles or teachers. This is for every believer. So in order for you and for me to, uh, to fulfill my purpose in life, I need that divine power. As a matter of fact, that was the criteria for ministry in the Old Testament. Every person that got called into ministry, he said, you must be anointed. Even the Messiah, his name is the anointed. One. So is it just for the people on TV to be anointed? No, it's every believer that, to be anointed. In other words, you, not, you will not be able to fulfill your purpose in life unless you are anointed for it. Well, what would you say to the person that is watching us right now and say, well, I am anointed, but I don't have the money to fulfill my purpose? Well, life. whenever you find your purpose, you find your prosperity. In other words, <laughs> in other words, God supplies needs for a moment, but abundance and excess will come when you enter in your purpose. So it's a lot of people living for their purpose, living for their need. And that's why most of us as preachers, we need to teach the people purpose because when they find their purpose, they will find their prosperity. So I don't worry about it. If God called you, he will provide. Okay. He's the provider. Well, He's the me, provider. Let me tell you this apostle 
is operating in the strongest level of God's glory that I personally have ever witnessed on him before. And it's got to do with that recent visitation that you had. Yes. I believe that you have words from God that will change our audience's life. I can feel the power of God flowing, I, and I see somebody that needed a heart, a heart condition. There's a valve in your heart that you needed to be replaced. God is putting a brand new one right now. As a matter of fact, the Lord tell me, there's a lot of people right now, their organs, some of those organs were, your organs were removed, and now I want to create one. And Father, there's someone with a, um, a, a kidney, uh, there's a kidney, you and being in dialysis, and, and you ready to shut down because your body it will be shut down but right now only is working 10 percent god is it's releasing a new kidney in jesus mighty name there's something happening at home i can see a little a child nine years old you will not be able to talk you not be able to hear and god is delivering you now and i open open god is opening your mouth and you start talking mother go talk to him tell him to talk to you for the first time god is healing right now. Father, I release massive creative miracles. There's a divine power flowing upon you now in Jesus' mighty name. Take it, take it, take it. God is creating brand new knees. As this man, I was preaching in a country and he got a prosthetic knee. And as I call him, the Lord created a brand prosthetic knee. God is releasing new knees now in your body. Bones are being created. Flesh are being created. God has spoke to me as I sit down. He said, I will release creative miracles right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I can see glaucoma is being healed glaucoma there's so many miracles happening now and and you will see the show and God is empowering people with divine ability to walk in the supernatural father I activate every person that is watching now to walk in the supernatural to do miracles signs and wonders I release it now take it take it be activated raise the dead heal the sick right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, there is a woman by the name um, uh, 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 Merki, Merki, and, and the Lord is healing something in your, as a matter of fact, your womb. Uh, female organs were removed. I feel the presence as I'm, I'm talking to you. And, and God is, you feeling something is filling up in your womb. All your female parts are being filled. Now, I've seen that miracles many times. God created new organs in your body. Father, in Jesus' name, there's a woman uh, said that, that she had, uh, one of her breasts had been removed because of cancer. God is creating a brand new breast. Please testify. When you see this, I want you to call those creative miracles. This is the time for creating unusual creative miracles. Right now, in the, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, take it now. Take it now. Amen and amen. God, I'm going to tell you something. I have been with Apostle Maldonado many times. You are at a new level. So when we return, I'm going to ask Apostle Maldonado to pray an apostolic prayer and to prophesy to release destiny yes. and purpose over you. Be right back. Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's powerful brand new book, Created for Purpose, and his anointed audio teaching, Nine Ways to Know Your Divine Purpose, plus this special Maldonado bonus book, Stress-Free Living. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $29. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9685. Through Guillermo Maldonado's brand new powerful book, Created for Purpose, you will clearly understand that God has assigned each of us a proportion of territory where we can exercise our sphere of influence on the earth. Find out what it means to be called by God and how to live in your purpose throughout your life. Understand that a person who is not walking in their purpose will always feel misplaced or even depressed. Learn how to obtain greater joy when living in the center of God's will for your life. Find out how to access God's great supply and prosper so you can walk effectively in God's divine purpose. Through Guillermo Maldonado's anointed audio message, you will learn that every person has a purpose. That means you were created to fulfill your God-given purpose and destiny. Discover nine indicators of how to know your God-given purpose. You will experience victory and see prosperity. 
Guillermo Maldonado includes anointed prayers that God would open your mind and heart to understand what is God's purpose for your life, that God would open your ears to begin to hear His voice clearly, that God will heal you and wipe out all discouragement and oppression, that God would release healing in your body, mind, and spirit. You will also receive this special bonus book, Stress-Free Living. Guillermo Maldonado leads you in specific steps to stress-free living. You will learn what stress really is. Find out what causes stress and how to overcome it. Discover the path to managing everyday stress. Learn how to be set free from unhealthy stress cycles. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's powerful brand new book, Created for Purpose, and his anointed audio teaching, Nine Ways to Know Your Divine Purpose, plus this special Maldonado bonus book, Stress-Free Living. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $29. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 968. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9685 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. You know, you say God's purpose is stronger than any obstacle in your life even stronger than someone trying to murder you? Yes, uh, purpose is more powerful than plans. Purpose is more powerful than opposition. Purpose is more powerful than even death. Purpose is more powerful than persecution. One time, I, I, I want you to tell yeah, one time I was ministering in, in one of the countries in, in South America, and we finished the crusades. Uh, uh, this six people with guns followed me and my team to the homes. We were going to have dinner that night. And I remember they came, they put a, a gun in my head. And they put a gun into all the people, not because the thief, because we were thief, is because we were preaching the gospel. And, 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 and the Lord said to me, in that moment, when you have a gun in your head, what did I think? Yeah, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said, Sid. I said, Lord, I have not finished my purpose, so death cannot touch me. So you're saying no demon in hell can take Come him on. out until you fulfill your destiny. <laughs> That's what he said. You know, you, you know what happened in that moment? So they left. They just took the, the watches, a little money. But we're here. <laughs> we keep preaching. <laughs> now, there's something that doctors tell us would rob us. Uh, actually, uh, forget and get it, forget getting d these dread diseases. The open door to most, maybe 98% of the sicknesses, is something called stress. Stress. Yes, I would say stress has to do with the heart. And, and stress, can I define stress for those Please. people that are watching? Okay, stress is nothing more than when you and I try to do something that only God can do. Hmm. In other words, there's a lot of people stressed out because they want to do something that only God can do. So what you do is just release everything to God. Your anxiety, your impossibilities, just give it up to God. Release problems. You are sick in your body. You are being tormented. There's things you cannot do. Just releasing them to God and rest upon God. And you know what is the best place to rest from stress? The presence of God. Amen. The glory of God. That is the place, the, the Bible calls it the fullness. God, there's a place of fullness. In the presence of God, you will have fullness of rest. You teach and write about keys to knowing our purpose. It's hard to get in that presence of God if you're struggling. God, what am I going to do? <laughs> it, if you want to get in the true peace of God, yes. know your purpose. Give us one or two keys. First of all, to know your purpose, God, you have to know God. You never know your purpose. You never know a thing before you know God. God is the one that gave your purpose. Number one, very quickly, indicators of purpose. What indicates that that is your purpose? Number one, uh, I would say anger, holy anger divine anger. What angers you, you are called to give solution to. Hmm. Moses, when, when he see one of the Egyptian, one of the Jewish people being beaten up, he got so upset and kill him. So whatever releases your anger, holy anger, 
divine anger that you are called to resolve. Number two, your compassion. What you call to, uh, when, when, what releases your compassion? Children, whenever you see sick people. So there's people watching right now, if you allow me to prophesy to certain people. Uh, there's some people right now that you're watching. As a matter of fact, there's someone you called to preach and, and you went away from God. There's someone that you called to be a businessman to invest in the kingdom of God and you be you have seen so much that you don't want to know nothing about your purpose so God is calling you there's a lot of people that you abandoned your purpose you'd never submitted to your to your process and now it's calling you back no matter what their age no matter what age because God can we are living in a time Sid that God is accelerating everything okay God can do in one year so, what it took 10 years so what you think you missed you don't come on God. Yes, yes. you don't know God yes you are not going to miss a beat would you release an apostolic prayer yes over the viewers right now to know and do their destiny yes father I want you to stretch your hands all the audience we're going to pray father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just saw it so clearly. I see at 13 years old, you are totally blind and God just healed you. You just felt a heat in your eyes. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release purpose. Father, I ask you to open every person that is watching. Open their eyes to see. Reveal your purpose to them. What they are, the reason of their existence. And Father, I anoint them for purpose. I release the divine power upon their life to fulfill their destiny. And Father, I ask you now to release that compassion, to release passion, to release the fire of God even in their bones to come back and to do their destiny. Bring those that wanted to commit suicide. There's a lot of young people watching right now that you've been contemplating suicidal. I, I, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every spear of death come out of their minds. I set you free right now, and I release destiny. I release purpose. I see God. I see people having encounters with God. You just saw something. God is talking to people right now you're saying oh God just spoke to me God just spoke to me there's some people you will have dreams and visions you will have dreams and visions about your purpose in life you were created for a purpose and God is releasing destiny right now father open their eyes to see open their ears to see and I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit God I say thank you Lord thank you yes Lord yes Lord I release the anointing there's one man that is watching me you have such a call from God. You have such a powerful purpose in God and you've been separating from God. And you, you, you by, by your name, as a matter of fact, your name is Mark. Mark, and God is marking you now for destiny and for purpose. I declare God, I rebuke every plan of the enemy to stop your purpose and your destiny. I remove every obstacle. I remove every plan and I release everybody in right now watching being activated in the supernatural for miracle signs and wonders and to fulfill your purpose in life I prophesy life I prophesy destiny I prophesy purpose in Jesus mighty name I tell you what this is the first day of the rest of your destiny come on